Hello there, my name is Ed Dadea and I'm a comic book artist and I practice animation. I worked on Marvel Comics on titles such as X-Men, Wolverine, Uncanny X-Men, New Mutants, Silver Surfer and other X-Books. XP Pen has sent me their product called XP Pen Artist Gold Pro for a tutorial. The tutorial has three parts. The first part is animation of a character. The second is the coloring and compositing. And the third will be comic book art. So let's begin. I'm currently using free software called Krita. You can download it from their website. Let's create a new document with our desired size, which will fit the dimension of 920 pixels by 1080 pixels. Make sure the resolution is 150 dpi. Under the comment tab, make two layers with the white background color. Then click Create. On the second layer, go to the first keyframe of the timeline, then click Add Blank Frame. This will create a blank keyframe as start of the animation. Make sure the frame rate is set to 24 frames per second. If your Krita is lagging or struggling when you scribble, try reconfiguring the setting. Under the display settings, check or uncheck the canvas graphics acceleration or play around with the settings until it's running OK. Restarting the program might require. Our animation is jumping cycle of a frog, so we may need a background that is a wraparound. is important so we need to draw some elements like rocks, plants, dirt, trees, and grass to make it work. After drawing the background, we need to turn the opacity down so we can see our animation layer. On the third layer, create another keyframe, just like on the first layer. Now let's start drawing using XP Pen Artist 12 Pro. On this layer, we'll be drawing draft animation. This will be our guide for our final drawing and the colors. I based this little character on a picture. As much as possible, I made it very simple and distinguishing. 
Less details will make the animation easy to make. The first keyframe is the rest position. Roughly draw the shape of the character. Make sure it is clear so it's easy when we clean up the drawing. Our animation will be animated by twos meaning our single drawing is exposed on two frames. Basically, our animation is 12 frames per second in 24 frames per second video. Let's create another blank frame from the next pose. Turn on the onion skin by switching the light bulb on the keyframe docker or the layers docker. If you want to open the onion skin docker, just go to settings, dockers, and choose onion skin. In case you want to customize the color of previous and next colors of onion skins, just change it like so. Let's trace first the size of the head as we move it later on the canvas. After tracing the previous frame, use Transform tool to move the drawing and adjust it. Then draw the rest of the jumping pose of the frog. After that, we'll create another blank keyframe for another pose. Let's say frame 14. Now let's copy the first keyframe by clicking. Then hold down Ctrl key on the keyboard. Drag it all the way to another keyframe which is keyframe 20. We can trace that last frame to keyframe 14 and move it again just like keyframe 8. Draw the rest of the body of the frog as it is landing. If you want to draw full screen in Krita, just press tab on your keyboard. Press tab again to exit full screen.
we might need little adjustment on the frames. So we move the last frame up to keyframe 26. Then going back to new keyframe 20, we'll have more drawings as the frog is drawn back to its first keyframe. Let's draw more in between frames. From keyframe 0 to keyframe 8, create new blank keyframe in between them, which is keyframe 4. Again, trace the first keyframe so our character will still be the same size. The technique is to avoid the character from changing its size. Using Alt plus left or right arrow keys, you'll see how we progress with our animation. On keyframe 12, we draw another frame halfway before it drops down. the same as for keyframe 18. We may need to trace again the head to avoid changing the size. Once again, tracing the head, then moving it halfway as it finally progressed. Animation is very time-consuming, so you need a lot of patience, especially when drawing the in-between frames. The first phase of our animation is done. Now let's see what we did on the final rough of the animation. <laughs> 